Hey, Bruce Naylor here, your Boomer Consumer. And today we're looking at the NAD C316B V2 Integrated Amplifier. Now, why am I talking about an amplifier on my channel? Well, hi-fi has always been a passion of mine. And as a kid, I used to drool over all the gear that I would see in High Fidelity Magazine, Stereo Review Magazine, the Marances of the world, the Yamahas, the Carvers, uh, the list goes on and on of all the high-end gear. I couldn't afford any of that. It was made out of 100% unobtainium, <laughs> which just means it's unobtainable to me. So I had to stick with what I could afford. And then, of course, life gets in your way and so forth. But recently, I, I thought, what well, I'm really missing great music in my office. And so that led me to put together a new hi-fi system from scratch, but on a budget. And NAD used to make an amplifier, or they still do. It's called the 3020. And it was a best-selling amp back in like 1978 going forward. Then they came out with the 316B, which I believe at the time was going to be the logical successor. Now there is a new version of the 3020, but this is an extremely popular amplifier. It sells for around 450 bucks, and it's a great way to begin building a component hi-fi system. And that's why I wanted to share that with you today, why I chose this particular unit. Now, I'm a big believer in getting the right gear for the right purpose. So I have a home office that I want to play some smooth jazz. I like blues, jazz. I, my musical tastes are, are varied, but one thing for sure, I like great sound. And so an integrated amplifier is a combination of a preamp and an amplifier. And NAD is known to use great quality uh, components to deliver cleaner, less distortion, and higher output, basically than what they're rated for. Now the 316, that's what I'm gonna refer to it as, is rated at 40 watts per channel. However, thanks to their power drive technology that NAD employs, it can really hit almost 100 watts peak to peak, uh, dynamic range when music really calls for it. So. Bottom line, don't let the 40 watts per channel scare you at all, unless you've got super inefficient speakers, all right? Really inefficient, or you're trying to fill up a huge room with, you know, shaking sound, then this is going to be just fine. It's going to be just absolutely fine. Now, you may think this doesn't have a lot of frills. It certainly doesn't have all the lights and gadgets and gizmos. Well, if you look at a receiver, and, and why didn't I buy a receiver? Well, most of the receivers for sale generally are AV receivers with a lot of functions that I'm never ever going to use because I'm interested in listening to music. That's what's important to me. But this offers enough features, I think, to satisfy most anybody looking to build a hi-fi system. There's five different inputs on here right now. Plus, you have a media player input. So you can you know, hook in a phone or you know, MP3 player or whatever. But you have your tuner, your auxiliary, video audio, uh, audio from video, CD player, and the V2 now has a, a phono preamp if you're into vinyl. And I've actually just bought the NAD uh, C538 CD player. I'm going to make a separate video about that. Your bass control, tone defeat, treble, the balance, and your volume. And it has a standby mode on there and, and that is what the features on the front of the 316 are. And the back of the unit, I think it's just laid out so nice. You get a phono input and then there's your five different inputs, again, for your tuner, your aux, your video, CD, phono. And then you also have your binding posts on there for your left and right speakers. And you'll notice that it just supports two speakers, that's what it's designed to do. And then finally you have your uh, off switch. And so when you're not in standby mode, you can just power it down completely. Gold plated inputs on there, by the way. So I've been auditioning this uh, with the CD player using my uh, Sony MDR 7506 headphones. These are a really uh, standard headphones that are using a lot of radio stations and professional audio engineers use them. And I have to tell you, the sound from the amp uh, is clearer 
and CRISPR. I have a older Sony AVR. I think it's the STRDE 425, uh, and that's from the early, or yeah, the early 90s, I think. This definitely is sonically superior in every way, shape, and form to that receiver. Now, one thing about integrated amp, you're not paying for the tuner, right? So a little bit more money can go into the quality of components on the actual amp itself. And they put the money where it counts. Now, a lot of fancy stuff going on here. It's, I think, understated elegance is the best way I can describe this amplifier. Now, some people may not like the sound of the NAD. They may think it might be a little too bright. I happen to think it's just quite wonderful. Very airy, very spacious. The bass sounds super crisp, and so are the vocals on here. I was actually amazed at the difference in the sound quality of this unit. So I think this is a great way to get started into the world of a hi-fi and having something you can build upon going down the road. This will really satisfy the needs of most people if you're looking for great music reproduction, you're on a budget, 450 bucks retail price. So this is not bad. If you want some more information about it, I have the uh, link to that in the description down below. This is how I'm going to be building my hi-fi system, a mix of newish and even some vintage gear that I'll share with you a little bit later. But this is just a fantastic sounding little integrated amplifier. Very affordable when it comes to when you really start getting into the world of hi-fi. And this is actually a budget reference amplifier. And so it makes it just a really screaming good deal for the price. You can spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on uh, power amps and preamps and so forth. But for 450 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.